Pat Quinn enters the Hockey Hall of Fame having made a major impact with the Toronto Maple Leafs. As a player, he'll always be remembered as the defenseman who knocked Bobby Orr well into next week in the postseason of 1969. But it was as a head coach behind the bench in Toronto where Pat really made his mark. Seven years in Toronto, six playoff appearances, no fewer than three 100-point seasons and two berths in the conference final. Wit, charm, he'll be known for his cigar-smoking, gum-chewing, but always his ability to win hockey games. You know, just an outstanding coach for myself and for the Maple Leafs, I believe. Um, you know, he did a lot for uh, my family. You know, he treated uh, me and, and everyone that he met first class all the time. And um, he was my favorite coach of my whole career. And uh, nothing but fond memories and, and uh, a lot of thankfulness, uh, you know, into my time with him. Uh, he was like a big brother to me. As a kid growing up in Ontario, you get a chance to put on the Leaf jersey. It was pretty special. And then uh, a guy like Pat Quinn that had been in, involved in the game in, in so many different facets and, and uh, uh, had so much success. It was, it was uh, quite an honor to be part of that team with those players and, and a coach like Pat. So it's a, it's a great night for his family. What a, an incredible, incredible guy. And I tell you, he was a, a dear friend uh, besides being our general manager and coach for a while and then our coach. and. Uh, just, just a wonderful, wonderful uh, human being. Uh, he and Sandra and uh, the kids are, you know, just a special family there. So we, we miss Pat for sure. Pat was a, a great man, and everybody says the same thing. It's consistent right across from everybody, and uh, he's as fine a man as you'd meet, not only in hockey but in life. And he was caring and loving and passionate, and uh, we all drew strength from him. Oh, Pat was a wonderful man to work for. He was. Uh, larger than life personality and he was uh, you know, great to everybody around the, the locker room, all the trainers, he was a great coach for the players and uh, well respected so this is a great night for him. Uh, definitely there's a lot of great stories. He used to love blowing the cigar smoke and, the, and often I'd show him the replays in the intermission and he'd sit this far away from me and he'd show it again and he'd blow it in my face. Blow. One day my computer wasn't working as well. I called down to the IT guys and uh, they came down, take a look at my computer and they go, you're right, it's not responding, you're right, Reed. They unplug it, turn the laptop upside down, ashes start falling down, it looked like Mount St. Helens. Uh, a little bit of, uh, a lot of cigar smoke in uh, my past, thanks to Pat. Pat Quinn's effervescent personality, his wit, his charm, just his enormous size, he always cut a swath when he entered a room. Pat passed away almost two years ago, always missed, especially so on a special night like this.